one of the the kind of sadder parts is the how relevant the labor struggle poetry of the 20s and 30s of Cape Breton is to today and in contemporary time because a lot of the a lot of the laments of the workers the poets then are really the same problems that you know a lot of workers are dealing with today Ma told me the old man ain't coming home tonight We got thrown in jail again trying to do what is right Scrap your winter coat and then muddy rubber boots It's time to go downtown and start marching with the troops I don't know them, Mama. Why should I even bother? She said, "Son, every one of them is your sister and your brother." And so it was. I grew up on a picket line. So strap the cardboard on my chest and pass me a sign. Before I learned to string a full sentence together, well, I knew every word of solidarity forever. Well, I had no part on Father's Day at the age of seven years, so we sent those cards up in a crate and we held back the tears. They swore to take the train away. He turned to me to say, "If we don't act, they'll never stop." And he sat down in their way. Turn on the news before my eyes emits a hospital strike. The coppers bash my father's head in the street with all their might. So it was. I grew up on a picket line. So strap the cardboard on my chest and pass me a sign. Before I learned to string a full sentence together, well, I knew every word to solidarity. Tried to force him out the door. His values wouldn't change. A true-blooded trade union man in this new world is strange. But every worker on this island has a better chance. 'Cause he would up and fight for them without a second glance. So I may fit my entire body in them shoes, but I'll never have to guess at what is right and what is true. And so it was. I grew up on a picket line. So strap the cardboard on my chest and pass me a sign. Before I learned to string a full sentence together, well, I knew every word of solidarity forever.